The Ukrainian armed forces struck the territory of a military airfield in Novofedorovka in the Saki district with an Atikms, sources in the emergency services of the annexed region told ASTRA. As a result, the ammunition was hit, and a fire broke out. Two servicemen were injured, they received shrapnel wounds. In addition, an Atikms missile also hit the location of the Russian air defense 5 kilometers from the village of Shelkoviknoi in the Saki district. As a result, the radar station was destroyed. In total, according to sources, the Ukrainian armed forces struck Crimea with four Atikms missiles, two of which were shot down. In Crimea, at the Saki airfield, an S-300V complex was hit last night. This complex, consisting of nine S-19 type radar, three 9A-84 type launchers, one 9A-83 type launcher was in an deployed state. It was either operational or was being restored for further use. Recall, Ukraine, now armed with American-made precision missiles, is for the first time capable of reaching every corner of Crimea, and the missiles are increasingly flying in both directions. It is a new strategic push as Kyiv seeks to raise the cost for Russian occupation forces that have long used the peninsula as a base of operations just off Ukraine's southern coast. While it is unlikely to have much effect on the front line, Ukraine's campaign with the long-range version of the Army tactical missile systems appears meant to force the Kremlin to make difficult choices about where to deploy some of its most valuable air defenses to protect critical military infrastructure. Since the arrival of the Atikms this spring, the Ukrainian military has claimed to have destroyed or damaged at least 15 Russian long-range air defense systems in Crimea. Among those are the powerful S-300 and S-400 batteries, Moscow's version of the American Patriot Air Defense System. Bundeswehr Inspector General Karsten Brewer has warned of the growing military threat Russia poses to the West. We are seeing that the Russian army is orienting itself towards the West, he said in an interview with the Sachsische Zeitung newspaper, as quoted by the DPA news agency. According to Brewer, in five to eight years the Russian armed forces will be staffed and equipped in such a way that an attack on NATO territory will be possible. In this regard, the highest-ranking Bundeswehr officer referred to his own analysis, information from the intelligence services and armed forces of Germany's allies, as well as statements by Russian President Vladimir Putin. He pointed out that the Russian army receives between 1,000 and 1,500 tanks annually, while the five largest European NATO countries have only half that number combined. In particular, the Bundeswehr has about 300 combat tanks, the German general noted. If we add to this potential the intention that can be clearly read in Putin's statements, then this should alarm us. My task is to think about such a worst-case scenario, he further emphasized. According to Brewer, for Germany this means the need to prepare for a possible attack by the Russian Federation in five years. At the same time, not everyone has yet realized the new threat situation, he added. Commenting on the situation in Ukraine, the Inspector General of the Bundeswehr noted that he does not expect significant changes in the combat zones in the near future. At the same time, it is possible to conduct small, slow operations, but it is difficult to carry out large-scale offensives at the moment, he is sure. The concentration of troops will be immediately noticed and will lead to the adoption of countermeasures, the General explained. At the same time, the country that suffered from the Russian invasion still depends on the help of its partners, he recalled. Russian troops have struck an armored plant in Ukraine's Kharkiv region, Russian Defense Ministry reported on Thursday. Russia's Iskander M operational tactical missile system launched a group missile strike against the Kharkov armored plant, the Defense Ministry's press service reported. As a result of the strike, two workshops for the repair and restoration of armored vehicles were destroyed. The restoration of armored vehicles of the armed forces of Ukraine in the workshops of the plant has been stopped. Russia stepped up attacks on Ukraine's territory with the use of Iskander missile system this month. 
Earlier, Russia struck a convoy of military equipment in Kharkiv region. In another attack Russia hit the Poltava airport, destroying an I-24 helicopter and several cars. In early July, Russia's defense ministry reported that an Iskander M tactical missile system was used to deliver a strike on Ukrainian warplanes at the Murgorod Air Base, destroying five Su-27 multi-role fighters and damaging another two Su-27s.